What does it mean to sublux your shoulder or suffer a shoulder subluxation? And what do you do about it? I'm Dr. David, orthopedic surgeon, sports medicine specialist, and author of That's Gotta Hurt, The Injuries That Change Sports Forever. I provide education, information, and commentary on all sorts of sports and exercise injuries and injury treatments and injury prevention for athletes and active people so that you can stay healthy and perform your best. We've talked on these videos before about shoulder dislocations. Basically, the ball pops out of the socket. Almost always a traumatic event the first time it happens, at least for a lot of people. They get their arms sort of pulled out behind them if it's an anterior dislocation, or it gets driven backwards in a posterior dislocation. And we've talked about how very often that pulls the labrum off the socket and it needs surgery at some point, especially if it becomes a repetitive problem. A shoulder subluxation is essentially a milder variant of that. Instead of the ball popping completely out of socket, it partially comes out of place but slides right back in. It can still be a really difficult problem though, especially for somebody that plays a contact or collision sport. Maybe football where you're going to tackle people and you know basically it's sliding out of place. It can be a really, really difficult problem. Now, if it's not fully dislocating, or maybe it never has, then it's at least reasonable to try a course of physical therapy. For strengthening, strengthening the rotator cuff muscles and the, the muscles off your shoulder blade to provide what we call dynamic stability to try to hold the ball in the socket. But if that's not helping and you're still having it sort of sliding around, it feels loose, it feels like it's subluxing, it's reasonable to see a sports medicine doctor and even getting an MRI or I think the better test is what's called an MR arthrogram where the radiologist injects a little bit of fluid or contrast into your shoulder and then does an MRI to look for a labral tear or other structural issues causing that ball, the humeral head, from sliding around uh, in the glenoid or the socket. Because sometimes, especially if physical therapy is just not helping and you're still having subluxations and if there's you know basically ligamentous damage or a tear of the labrum something like that sometimes surgery is a reasonable option you know repairing or reattaching the labrum and tightening the capsule depends a little bit on exactly what kind of structural issues you have but sometimes surgery can be indicated for a shoulder subluxation have you suffered a shoulder subluxation? And, or is this sort of a recurrent problem, a repetitive problem for you? Is your shoulder subluxing or sliding around, maybe not completely dislocating? Is this going on with you? If it has, what are you doing about it? Or what have you had about it? Did you end up needing surgery? I'd love to hear your experience. And honestly, I think viewers all around the country and around the world would love to hear it as well. So below this video, share your experience so we can all learn your experience and maybe decide what we want to do about it. If you like videos like this and you want more information on sports and exercise injuries, injury treatments, and injury prevention, subscribe to my video channel. Click the subscribe button in the upper right corner of this page. I record several of these videos every single week and they'll get delivered directly to you. If you know somebody that's dealing with subluxing shoulders or shoulder subluxations, send this video or share this video with them because I honestly, I hope it can help anybody dealing with this problem. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you right here next time.